So I decided also to do a weight comparison on the rods only because uh, someone might use the rod and want to see what um, weight advantage they have for reciprocating weight and they may not want to use this piston or they might use a different one. Um, first things first, I'll do a quick uh, comparison of the rods. Um, as you can see, this is a much stouter rod in every way, shape and form. Um, there are things that I like about the, the rods and things that I don't necessarily um, would be my first choice in the design. One of them is this, um, is the holes up top here. So you can see that the stock rod has this much bigger um, counterbore to lead oil down into the, the holder. And the boost line just has this tiny thing. I would at least feel better if it was uh, if it was if it had the the big uh, counterbore. But in the end, it works, and uh, this shouldn't happen to it. This nice arch and this guy. Um, if I had to redo this again, I do not think that I would um, re do use the Wisco pistons. Um, my main gripes about the Wisco pistons are the gap in here. I understand that some of these have some historical uh, failures. The gap in here is way too wide in my, um, you know, my estimation. If you look at the original rod, you'll see it has like uh, approximately an eighth of an inch, uh, probably closer to three sixteenths of an inch. Um, but the Wisco combo has this gigantic, unnecessary to me gap. This, uh, it's huge. And I understand some of these have problems with uh, bending the pin. And it doesn't help also that the pin, the stock pin that comes with the piston, it tapers out to the tip. So this is not the fullness of the weight of it. Um, but yeah, it's so thin even in comparison to the, it's larger diameter though, but much thinner profile in comparison to the stock guy. Anyways, Back to those are just my personal gripes. Back to the meat of the matter. Um, zero the scale. Stock rod with bolts 2006K24A2. 593 grams. K24A2 boost line rod 622. Let's get that again, 622 on the boost line and 593 on the original rod. So it's roughly 29 grams heavier on the rod, which also means that the piston is about 27 grams lighter than the original because the weight of both assemblies are the same.